I am Travel Tom Tom and I just landed here at the London Heathrow Airport. Just got through passport control behind me and this is what it looks like when you enter. There's an ATM, there is a currency exchange. Yeah, this is uh, where you collect your luggage. Here are all the luggage bell, luggage bell 7, luggage bell 8, 5. And I just turned around and as the friendly guy of the currency exchange, he also sells prepaid SIM cards. And yes, he does actually. So straight after passport control, before you even collect your luggage, you can buy a prepaid SIM card for the UK. Uh, basically what you can get is for 20 pounds you get a lot of gigabytes and there's also a prepaid SIM card for UK with unlimited data. This currency exchange uh, kiosk is open from 5 in the morning until 9.45 and you can pay by card. The one thing is there's no eSIM cards available here. But for 20 pounds, which is about 24 US dollar, you get a hundred gigabyte from a three a SIM card, a Vodafone gives you 40 gigabytes and EE, another mobile internet provider here in the UK, they give you 50 gigabytes for 20 pounds. But before buying a prepaid SIM card for the UK, let me first pick up my luggage and let's go to the arrival hall and see what we can get there. We are still at the luggage belt guys and this is a SIM local. SIM local has a yeah, a SIM card a vending machine. And they have a lot of different SIM cards. They have a Leica SIM card, they have two different kind of three SIM cards, they have two types of EE SIM cards, one for 25, one for 40, 30, 40, 25 pounds. Yes, yeah, so you can see there are a lot of options available. Let's check, yeah, here we have the three, let's just click and then we see what it gets. It's 100 gigabytes, it's the same SIM card, as we saw at the currency exchange, but there was 20 pounds and here's 30 pounds. So that's a huge difference. That's 50% more expensive here uh, when you buy from a SIM local. But let's check out the cheapest prepaid SIM card they have available here. The two of 25 pounds. We go here and they say Leica Mobile. Yeah, it says here there is no stock. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stock there, but you can't buy them from the machine. Well, am I a fan of Leica Mobile? Not really, especially when it comes to EU data roaming. There are a lot of restrictions and limitations, so it's never my first choice to get a Leica Mobile prepaid SIM card for traveling in the UK or in Europe. So let's check the three one. It's a hundred gigabyte. It says on 4G, 5G, 100 gigabyte for 30 days, unlimited SMS and uh, calling for 30 pounds. There was 20 pounds. It actually is a really great prepaid SIM card for traveling in the UK, for traveling in Europe, even if you go onward, because it says feel at home data available. So you can use your data everywhere. It says a hundred gigabyte, but I doubt that. Most probably it's limited to 12 or 20 gigabytes to actually use abroad outside of the UK. The great thing about these uh, SIM card vending machines is that they're open 24 hours obviously and you can pay by card and there are many around. In the whole uh, baggage claim area there are four uh, of these SIM local SIM card vending machines. And as you can see behind me there also is a currency exchange store like a, a, a a proper shop and they also uh, sell the same prepaid SIM cards you got the little kiosk there so yeah I didn't even set really foot in the UK and I can already buy a loads of different prepaid SIM cards yeah it is actually very easy to buy a prepaid SIM card when you arrive here at London Heathrow Airport uh, and also it's not too expensive like for 20 pounds you get a hundred gigabytes uh, with unlimited calling and SMS I personally think that actually is a pretty good uh, SIM card deal for traveling in the UK. Oh wow, and I see now a luggage belt four. They have actually a whole shop, a SIM local shop. They open from six in the morning till 10 in the evening. And yeah, and they have a great service because there's actually someone telling you all the plans, all the EU uh, roaming restrictions, because I said it before, uh, three says they give a hundred gigabyte, but it's only 12 gigabyte in Europe and then we have EE they stop giving free data roaming in the EU so you have to pay for roaming in the EU so yeah this 100 gigabyte data is only valid in the UK then and then we have Leica they do also give uh, data roaming included in their packages however it's also limited it's not like you have unlimited 5g data in all of Europe so Pretty much what you see is data in the UK.
Well, there's one good thing to tell at least, that is that EE SIM cards are also available on eSIM. So if you have a phone that does not have this little prepaid SIM card slot anymore, uh, there is an option to buy a local prepaid SIM card here at UK Airport when you arrive, and that is uh, an EE SIM card. And that means I still did not even uh, left the baggage hall area, and I still did not get connected because I didn't buy a SIM card uh, for the UK yet. But I'll tell you at the end what I actually did. Let's actually finally enter the UK. And this is what it then looks like when you actually walk into the arrivals hall here at the London Heathrow Airport. I see express train to London, information desk. Pretty uh, easy going, chill uh, arrival hall here at London Heathrow. And then when you walk to your right, there is a WH Smith shop and there's a SIM local shop again. There's car rentals. And there's a lot of information about onward travel by public transport from London Heathrow to the city center of London. But yeah, we're here for the SIM cards. And honestly, guys, there are so many options to buy prepaid SIM cards uh, for the UK when you land at uh, London Heathrow Airport. Yeah, here's a SIM local shop again. Uh, vending machines everywhere and then there is also WH Smith yeah and as you can see they have limited opening times but if you really want the cheapest prepaid SIM card for the UK then you have to come to this convenience shop because all the SIM cards we just saw I can see that's true uh, defense they all every plan is five pounds cheaper here however when you buy a SIM card from a convenience store like at uh, WH Smith you have to do the, the registration yourself so you have to put the sim card in your phone you have to do the registration the activation yeah that is why you pay five pounds for more for the sim local shop because they do it for you and they make sure that as soon as you walk out of the store that actually uh, everything is working here the ladies and the guys at the at the till uh, they have no time to help you activate your prepaid sim card no uh, they are selling uh, magazines uh, drinks to loads of people when it's actually open most of the prepaid sim card they were selling were from ee3 leica mobile and there was also one vodafone prepaid sim card but there is also O2. O2 also is a mobile internet provider here in the UK. Yeah, and this is the first place that I see that you can buy an O2 SIM card. It is here at the travel service and information. Let's check out how much it costs. Here are the plans. Yeah, O2, pretty much 25. You get 40 gigabyte data, but they have no EU data roaming included. Vodafone also neither because you have to pay extra for roaming bundles. EE also no EU data roaming. Pretty much the same prices as we saw at all the other SIM card shops. Now that I showed you where you can buy a prepaid SIM card for the UK when you arrive here at London Heathrow Airport, I showed you the prices, I give you information about EU data roaming, about e SIM cards. You're asking yourself though, what did Travel Tom Tom buy? Did he, how did he get connected on his trip here to London? Uh, well, I must say, I did not buy a prepaid SIM card here at London Heathrow Airport. And that is because when I travel to Europe nowadays, I always get an eSIM card on the internet. So an eSIM card on the internet is super easy. You order online, you pay, you get a QR code, you scan it, and you're online within uh, less than two minutes. So that is what I did. Uh, recommended eSIM cards for Europe that I have tested and reviewed are Iralo SIM cards and a SIM option SIM cards. And for about 15 to $20, you get a five gigabyte data in all of Europe and of course that is much more expensive than a local prepaid SIM card I totally agree but I love the convenience and how easy it is uh, to get connected uh, when traveling with an eSIM card I leave it completely up to you if you get an eSIM card for the UK on the internet or you buy a local prepaid SIM card uh, here at London Heathrow Airport uh, I'm about to take my train to the London city center. And before I go, I would like to ask you one little thing and it is go to the like button and please uh, give me a like just for my effort to show you what's the best SIM card that you can buy here at London Heathrow Airport. And if you have any more questions, then please leave me a comment and I'll try to help you out. Enjoy your trip to London.